Quest, would you give a, a round of applause for CEO of Quest? I will be delivering the next speech. Swati Cup. Okay, uh, my name is Kirk. I am the co-founder of Quest. We are the new type of learning platform for coding and spotting talent. Well, um, let's start with a number here. We need a million coder in 10 years in Thailand, and the best of the education that Thailand has to offer can only produce about 6,000. So obviously, in an exponential problem that permeates not only in Thailand, because in Japan, Next year, they will be short for about 300,000, and within 10 years, 600,000. Well, obviously, we know that we can't get enough coders because I talked to like a founder of an e-commerce company. First question she talked to me was, I need programmers for my Magento. Well, we know for a fact that next year, we're going to lose 500,000 people to, through automation. This is a very question that I even asked the Prime Minister of Thailand, Uncle Tu, when he came to DIPA, and how we're going to deal with it. And his answer said, it takes time. So where are we going to find people to do the programming, and we have people who are losing the jobs? Well, obviously, you can't blame the educational system, because this is an exponential problem. And then the school itself can only produce progress in a, linear pro uh, in a linear manner. We all know that coding is something that is essential, it is cool, and overwhelming numbers of older 80% in school stated that they would like to get coding education in some form or manner. So we got an idea of creating a new type of learning platform, so we tested the market with these following schools in three different uh, districts. And we also partner as a beta product with three companies in uh, China, United States, and in Thailand. What happened is we came up with an idea of a coding library where you learn without watching any videos. Because currently, the way you learn coding is you turn on a video, you open up a program, and then you have someone teach you. You waste time, it takes time, and then essentially you don't have any retention. The way that it works is we integrated all the learning environment in browser that you don't need a computer. It works for mobile browser. You follow the instruction based on challenges. You type it out, you get the output. So this is essentially a lesson base of over 15,000 challenges that can help you to be full stack ready at scale and at very affordable prices. Also, we have a learn space system where we can teach you remotely in groups we can co-pilot and educate you on those lessons in a way that you don't need to set up anything with any additional hardware because this also works right out from a browser too. Well, this is the picture. Um, we can skip up to that. Let's talk about the way we want to penetrate the market here. First off, we have a very low CAC because we give away 300 hours for free for schools and businesses that we can work with. That 300 hours will help you get started without any experience. You can be mobile responsive web designer on UX and UI, and then the learning platform would track progress in real time based on the analytics that you go through those lessons. And we will work with business to business as a testing assessment where we will go in there, we will test your personnel for free, and then we can evaluate who has the potential candidacy to participate in a program where we can localize and customize the software. Of course, that only takes 25% uh, minutes to set up. We got over 60 uh, school with 60,000 users. It'll only take three months. That alone in the picture took us only 25 minutes with no additional kind of hardware set up at all. Our value proposition, of course, this is a new type of technology that we can track talent in real time, starting from zero to full stack. You don't need to set up anything, so there's addi no additional cost. And also, of course, you can learn instantly anytime without computer, which is kind of in line with what the Ministry of Education wants. Well, the players, we are the only one that comparable to General Assembly in terms of teaching this in, at scale and at real time. What we can do better is we cost a lot less than them. Of course, 
it takes an ordinary te extraordinary team to tackle this extraordinary problem. I myself used to work for one of the first fintech companies, Stocksmart.com in America. We got great engineers from SoftBank and e-commerce, and of course, this is our achievement, and we're going to take Thailand to the next step of the future of coding evolution. Thank you. Wow. Curry cutting very close there. I had a straw track joke for you as well, Captain Kirk and Quack. Yes, Captain Kirk. <laughs> right, judges, Q&A time. All right. Uh, fantastic pitch, Kirk. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, what is the retention, or what is the, how, when the people graduate out of, taking your uh, education and are they able to find a job or at a, a, how do you bar them against other kind of coders that come out that, of school? That is the ultimate question, isn't it? The quality. Well, we have a new business model, you see. The 300 hours that we established, let's say with a fintech company, with uh, let's say an e-commerce company or any enterprises, they got the um, contract that they're going to do the recruitment with us. So we train their people. And those people who got the 300 curriculum can use as a baseline to pull in the recruitment. So that's how we do the retention. Of course, LinkedIn, they don't really know how to do that because they are digital resume. And a lot of recruiters out there only focus on the turnover. Yes. Well, um, I, I'm wondering what language is the content delivered in? Excellent question, too. Um, we start 300 hours on the HTML, CSS. The later part would be the Node.js and JavaScript on programming. And we'll walk you through to data science via DB3 and Python. And you close it off with microservices and network security also in JavaScript. So you, full, you actually complete the entire course. You will also get a certifi uh, certification from America as a full stack too. Yeah. And the certification is uh, like you certified with like the yeah. uh, known body. Um, yes, with our partner Mountain Dave and Code Camp in America. Yes, please, please. And also, is it in Thai or English or in other languages? Excellent question. I forgot about that in the pitch. We got in three different languages right now. We got Chinese, Thai, and English. We want to do that because we want to scale this from a Thai startup into a regionally expand clothing platform. Yes. Can you tell me how much you've raised so far and what status you're at in, the, in your life? OK. Um, right now, we already got our, uh, one of the greatest sponsors, Deepa, uh, the S2. And also, we got, uh, that's for 30000 And then we just raised another grant um, with TED Funds. We are currently trying to close a deal with a VC, I'd rather not say, in Singapore, but uh, they are pretty pre uh, predominant. Um, we are on the final round right now with them. Yes. Do you already have the corporate customer who use your service? Yes. The corporate, uh, well, like I said, we beta tested with uh, Kutger Pong. He's an advisor at CT All. And then we're working with the uh, banks right now. But like I said, we, pro pro we want to actually start penetrating in school because that's where the talent start. And then once we got the product where we're already making the money, OK, I haven't tell you how we, how we charge. I think that's important, too. Uh, General Assembly would charge like $700 to about 15000 to be full stack, right? We charge, if you learn the automated version, $40 per year per person. We already got the 60 schools signing up. So we're making about twenty dollars to $60,000 per school. We're going to use that model and refine our curriculum that can t tackle uh, fintech problem, health problem, e-commerce problem, and then we'll implement that as a customized learning version, which is more expensive, and then we provide the hourly service in terms of teaching remotely too. Yes. I don't know much about the Thai uh, education system, but do you think that people here can learn remotely, uh, you know, doing it like this without video, without an instructor? You know, General Assembly teaches Western people with a human, so how do you plan to tackle this? We, we approach this as a very different way because you gotta understand General Assembly started off as a co-working space. They are like we work of coding education. Our DNA is actually a challenge base with localized contents that we walk people through step by step along the way. And you can learn from mobile phones. And with, with a button, you can launch a learn space. There will be a person live to help you too, yes. So the way we want to do is we have a problem. You can't solve everything with filet mignon when, when there's a world hunger. 
we do a fast casual learning and we premium it out with learn space system for remotely teaching. Yeah. Still got 25 seconds. Please. Well, um, I think, you know, I'll, I'll leave one piece of, of, of thought here. Time is something that we burn and we sit here and we're not be making the impact and try to educate people at scale when it, it comes to coding. So that's, that's why we have a problem that people are going to lose their job or will have a million and Sandbox won't going to solve this. It's going to take real impact that, that to make this happen. Thank you. Yeah. Fantastic, Kurt. I think it's a very captivating pitch. Right, next on, can we invite... Um, sorry. Music rolling. Right, I'd like to invite our next product, Spacti. Um, he'll be presenting...